as you can see today, today's video, I could not go to my window because it's foggy as crap. So today, I decided to just go ahead and kill this because I keep showing this already. If you guys have seen my previous video, I keep showing this. This is because this is because awesome. Like, I love this. Anyways, that's not the point because the point is today we have to talk about one specific thing that does not have to do with Pokemon. Yep, it has to do with bugs. And, as you guys recall in GP Read series, there's a lot of symbolism towards bugs. A lot that I can't even understand that much. Well, I did later, but you know, had to research it up for a lot. And there's pretty much a lot of symbolism, including two major ones being being the spider and moth, and even some hints and symbolisms towards the bee as well. If the bee is connected, but then again, I don't know. I mean, I don't even remember how the bee thing started. But there are a lot of connections towards these bugs. And definitely so, considering that there's a lot of symbolism that ties in to it. So I wanted to go ahead and tackle this to figure out what these bugs mean, how does this relate to GP Reads, and what could this all be symbolized towards. First off, we have, of course, the moth. A bug that is literally part of the butterfly family, but eats clothes off of you. <clears throat> That's just being honest. And P.S. I'll send the link down in the description below for all these websites. And P.S. This ain't even also Wikipedia, so... Just FYI, just take all this with a grain of salt. But there is a lot to go into this thing, and there is a lot. And the first thing I want to read is that is the fact that the o the moth is also a omen towards a habit of falling for things or people that are beyond one's reach. This is very important because this represents, could be possible that it represents the fact of how G.P. Reed is trying to revive someone who's named Cress and wants her back for some reason. Hold on for a second. Sorry about that, I got gunk in my mouth. But anyways, like I said, the omen represents falling for someone beyond reach, meaning that they want something, but they can't, and they'll get damaged in the process. Now, also, and here's the big thing. It the moth also represents since the fact that it means resurrection and transformation. And this is actually big because this could also explain why there's a symbol. If you guys recall, the Nuyami symbol that Gibi Reese has also on his computer is very big considering that the fact that it represents the, that he's trying to revive people. Now there's a lot more. Let's see if we can find anything that could be connected because again I just looked all this up now. And and the moth could also represent someone jealous of you, that makes sense. And there's a lot of reference to Rivals and all that, and clothing material symbolize sadness, sadness, you know, the moth. Yeah, there's a lot, and it makes a lot of sense once you read George, because it's no doubt a symbolism to Naomi, and very much in a way that it represents what they do, and it is definitely is very big, because it represents the fact that, you know, they have so much hatred, so much stuff, it definitely represents them. Now, how this connects to, you know, keep your reads is pretty much because he's trying to revive. But, of course, the symbol that they're also most known is also the spider. And the spider is definitely much more weirder than its way. Now, we have seen the spider multiple times, including more recently in one of his videos where... The G video, because apparently G means something. And P.S., by the way, he said that G didn't represent the sun. That was just a coincidence. Well, whatever. It's obviously a coincidence because of Mac. Just FYI. But, of course, then, 
The spider has a bunch of other things that symbolizes the thing. And the first thing that is very big, as I re try to find these things, they're mainly associated with fear, death, survival, and give us the creepy callies. Big keyword is survival. And it means that, obviously, obviously that, if you recall, the Naomi's are survivals, survivors of something, whatever this something is. I don't know exactly, but it is something. And they're also represented by growth, death, and rebirth, and also the other birth, meaning that, you know, Again, more about reviving, reborn, and all that stop gobbledygoo. And of course, another interesting thing is in the spirit realm, spiders are master timekeepers. Time again knocks that waves together in the past future to help you manifest in present moments. They can alert you when you're stuck in the past or jumping forward in the future. This is a key detail because, again, we know that Naomi is part of G.P. Reed's past. Well, they're also in the present, but you know what I mean. They're linked to something that happened in the past, and they're trying to remind him of that past. Well, at the same time, trying to make him forget it in some odd, weird, hypocritical way. This is big because this could also reflect what G.P. Reed is and his big issue. We all know what his big issue is by now. It's whatever this crest person is or whatever happened, he is too much stuck in his past and can't move on towards the future. And the biggest... And obviously there's a bunch more... There's also the fact that spiders could be linked to bad omens again. There's a lot of omens here, but it makes sense of it, but it's definitely a very interesting thing. And then, of course, we get to the final bug being B. Now, before I literally pull all this up, keep in mind that I don't know if the B is connected to, to the symbolism of GB Reads. I only know because, as you can see through even the freaking cover card of this video, because obviously I had to bring that back up, apparently it was a joke that they made up for the bee right here, but again, I don't know what could be considered, um, but there is one big thing, and it could be another incident where it's just coincidence, but let me see if I can find it. And the bee could also represent other things, but the biggest thing is, as I found out, I think it was this one, but it was, yeah, it's here. In normal symbolism, the bright yellow stripes of the bee represents the honey it produced, blah, blah, blah. The yellow color of the bee can also symbolize the sun and its energy, which it gets light. Again, another symbol for the sun. Again, there's a lot of symbol and emphasis on sun that even GB Reed probably doesn't know. Because again, I literally think that the B thing is not really connected. But again, it's funny because now it's more connected than ever. And I may have just promoted the fact that the B is much more connected now since, you know, we all know the reason why. If you guys don't know, just real quick, it's the fact that apparently there's been a joke. I, again, I don't know how this started, but apparently there was a joke about... GPBs and whatever. I guess he'll explain in the comments down below once. Da, da, da. But that is a big deal because, like I said, and you guys can look it up yourselves down in the description below when I release this thing. Is the fact that you know this is another symbol towards the sun. And again, the sun is a big thing. In fact, that's probably going to be a another symbolism video we'll, that we'll do, but in due time. So with that being said, what does this have to do with Keepy Reads? Personally, I think that the spider and moth have two similar representation, being that it represents the idea of rebirth and pretty much a reminder of the past that Keepy Reads is hiding. This is the reason why Naomi 
uses the moth and spider. However, what's interesting is it also explains the hypocrisy that the spider has. Because at the same time, they're, while they're doing trying to do the same thing, they all, where they're trying to remind you to read of his past and all that, they are hypocritically don't want to be reminded of their past. Even though, you know, it's a lot hypocritical with this group, as you can tell, for a group that says that they're not a cult, yet they act like a at like their freaking team from Pokemon, you know what I mean, the evil team group, or vision of team, blah, blah. Yeah, I guess that makes sense for this, I don't know. But it makes a lot of huge sense because, again, this whole thing is about memory. And those two symbols are present. And again, I don't know about the B. The B could also make sense as well because they also, like, mass reduce and all that. And, you know, could represent G.P. Reed's old mass seduce and da da da. But that's just a far stretch, as you can tell by even my voice of saying that. And again, I don't even know how this B thing started in the first place. It was just a joke. But hey, at least it's also connected because of Sun and. We all know the sun means something. It's a sun. I don't know. But yeah, pretty much, there's a lot of symbolism in stuff. And of course, that's pretty much all I can say. Now, before I end this video off with my usual snap out of here, there's two things I want to note. Um, like I said, and if you guys haven't seen my update video, it's easy to find, just go after my channel, look the video next to this one, and look it up. I'll also send a link down in the description down below. But to make a long story short, this will possibly not really be my final GVRE video. Well, it's not going to be my final, let me rephrase that. It's not going to be my final GVRE video, it's just, I'm going to have to, it's going to be a while for the next GVRE theory video until something happens, I don't know. It will be down low explained where it explains some things, but to make a long story short, my symbolism videos may be on hold for a bit until I can fix it, mostly because A, I need a computer, and B, and again, it, description down below is the reason why. It's not a bad thing, though, because it actually has some great news coming up with it, but yeah, don't worry, I'll still do the GP Read videos. I want to make that clear. Sorry I said that. That makes no sense. I am not stopping this GP Read video. I want to make it very clear. Though, also, we all know that I usually take breaks most of the time with these. Although, I might have to start keep doing this more often because, you know, I love doing these. Though, at the same time, we have to wait until GP Read release another video and blah, blah, blah. Just FYI. But I want to make it clear that this will be kind of the last one because I may go on hiatus with this symbolism thing. And, you know, it's similar with Pokey story as well. But again, I'll explain all that down in the description below. I'll have my update video on reason why. But either way, I just want to make that clear because, again, I'm not stopping this crane of GP Reads. I want to make it clear of explaining what's happening. And, of course, as always, I'm snapping out of here. Bye-bye. And also, yes, I did hang up my Pokemon cards, if you're wondering. I just realized that. But, yeah, I'm hanging up my Pokemon cards. Looks great, doesn't it? Yes, it does, because I'm a genius.